Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3, second time playing, because uh, I just can't get enough of this game. I need a balance in my life. I need I need my Bioware balance, my homeostasis. I need to have my fantasy on one hand, and my, my shooty <laughs> space action on another hand. If I don't have both, then I, then I just kind of wilt. See you later, Caden. See you, see you in a few hours, see you in several hours. See, see you in a couple missions at this point, buddy. Caden. Yeah, Caden, go. Go look at it. No, actually, I sent him off to go look at something else. Don't get distracted, Caden. Yeah, take the helmets off. Yeah, please, free, feel free to face call me. Yet, dweeb! Elusive man. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. I can't put the controller the down, I have to be ready for, for, more for, than 30 mo years. for moments. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Partly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. You did not age well. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proved that. Yeah, but you still got what you wanted. That base was an abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You <laughs> you're the one who brought me back, bro! Even with the Prothean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence. To bring There's you not going to be any humanity them. left! You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I Come don't on, man. you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relative. You son of a gun! But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. I hate, I hate that guy back there. Liara. More than anybody else in this game. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. I hate you so much! Being erased. I hate you so much! I actually Goodbye, really Shepherd. hate the elusive man. I don't Damn. hate him. How's he doing it? But it's local. Someone's uploading the information. Kaden, don't get distracted by booty. Hey, step away from the console. Now. I don't know. I don't. I don't really don't see the purpose of her. Uh, her She's outfit whatsoever. She's faster than she looks. Yeah. Stay close. We I can't, can't see her. anything. The, the, if the camera could just follow her, that'd be great. Oh shoot! Okay, we gotta go through here. All right. What are you? Do what are you just going through the ceiling? There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. No, she isn't. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but you know, I can only do so much. Watch out! Yeah, you can't hurt me. I 
know there's nothing to be done, but you know, I can just, I can still. No, we're not just, you know, we're not doing that. James, you. James! Read me! <laughs> Cerberus has the data! <laughs> Ow! That was so rude! Can I not? How, oh, okay. I think she's actually waiting for me. <laughs> yep. I keep thinking that's my shuttle, but it's not. <laughs> Shoot her with my snow girl. I got this one. Oh, James. Oh, James. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy boy. You just wrecked my shuttle, dude. Oh, actually, our shuttle's pretty okay, it looks like. He's like, ah, uh, he's very shook up, though. I'm like, get down here, you idiot! Buy this thing! Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. I'm like, I'm gonna have a couple words with you! I'm gonna have a couple words with you! We need the data. Yeah, data's coming to get us! Run, Liara! Run, run, run! Start shooting! This really frustrates me. Go. Orders. Dispose of him. This is so frustrating to me. No. Shepard could super easy. See, that wasn't so hard, Shepard. Why did you freaking wait? I don't understand why you waited. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Shut up, we don't have time. This music makes me want to cry every time. Don't worry, I can pick up my ex-boyfriend. Ain't no big... shiz. Reapers left this archive intact last time. They're not going to make that same mistake. I don't know. That data should have been... It should have been out. 30 years? Lucid man's not wrong about that. Politics just ties everything up. Nothing good gets done. And it's never, it's never in the people's favor. It's all just money and power. Fear. <laughs> Kaden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. Uh, I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. See, before I took charge. Just a Citadel Joker. And uh, now, Liara is kind of helping me. You know what I mean? Like I helped Liara out of her funk earlier, and now Shepard. can learn from that thing. And then Liara had to help me a little bit there. I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Secondary QEC. We have a second throw. one. See, Shepard wants to stay in there, but she can't. She can't. She can't stop. Can't stop moving. Shepard, are you reading me? Commander. I'm not here yet, man. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. 
So is the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping it's so the Reapers. just... I hope so. Blah! It's Caden's so blah! Been... We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. Why don't you and talk to them? Don't... Do whatever it takes to get them on board. What do you mean? I'll be in touch soon. Hack it this out. is so fr and I have to think that Shepard is slightly frustrated too because nobody's actually giving her any directive. They're like, do the impossible Amanda. thing, and she's like, how? He is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. We don't have a doctor on board right now. It's a skeleton crew. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. Blah. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Nah. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this This is! This is the definition of conventionally! Just getting the bigger weapon to go smack your enemy Commander. with. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. Yeah, I'm sure they'll see there's a Should need to a help. a short war if they don't. I love it. I love that Shepard is like, she's feeling it. Like, I don't know. I like that. I think I read somewhere that the developers did say that Mass Effect 3 was the first time where they were really showing like Shepard's reactions to things, like uh, emotional, like, I mean, you can make your own choices, right? But they really focused more cutscenes on her or him, you know, and we're trying really hard to, I'm not trying really hard, but you know, showing, you know, how Shepard is feeling after this, all this time, but I guess in Andromeda, they're, they're starting with that, basically. They're gonna be focusing, I mean, it's always been focused on your character, but I don't know, it's gonna be a little, I see the di I, I've seen the difference before, and after reading that article, I was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm glad. Like, I noticed that without really needing to be told, you know? But... It just seems so fragile. The Citadel, right there. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. <laughs> We're not going with? We need to see the council. Right. There's somebody else at the free. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Yo, Bailey! Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Looking good, Bailey. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> mm, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. <laughs> None taken. So you're here to bring us to the council? He's the worst to I'm deal with to political tell you dignitaries. The council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. Mhm. Mm you might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. Thanks, Bailey. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the 
emergency quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. Bailey. No doubt. Bailey, you're the best. Oh, we gotta go fight. Okay, yeah, okay. Yep, all right. Yeah, cool, cool. Yep. So, uh, let me right in both. Okay, cool. Yep. I don't think, uh, no, he is there. We have to go. No, we don't. He's not there. He's not there. Is he there? I don't know. Chakwas and Michelle are there. Human diplomatic relations. Hi, Avina. Okay. First deployment is somewhere. Oh, these power. little side Reports things. Say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So how am I supposed to talk with you then? Yep, that's war. It's war. Oh, is this, okay. I wasn't sure. I'm about to, I'm about to say actually. Oh, my baby, you're the only stability in my life, Normandy. I thought that was the the leaving place. Shut up, lady. I'm not talking to you right now. Shepard walks so heavy in this one. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Quieta. I still miss, like, the stairs and stuff, but I guess you do kind of got to, you still got to kind of walk around and find the areas before you can, for most of them anyway, before you can just elevator over there. <sighs> now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. You're not him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, shoot. I need to buy the... Oh, Chakwas! Yo, Chakwas! Shepard, there you are. Chakwas, come back. Chakwas, you're here? Come back, Chakwas. I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Yeah! It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded <laughs> Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Come back! <laughs> Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. You can, Normandy like, say, your doctor, place is at the lab and then Get say, your place is on the doctor Normandy. D24. And then, pfft, yes, nope. Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. He probably remembers, he just doesn't take it on purpose. Plus five reputation, whatever the frick that means. Welcome to Serta. How much money do I have? Not a lot. Thank you for coming to Serta. Ooh. How can we help you? Still. Thank you for shopping. Mm. Kind of surprised I don't have that much money. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freeland. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. 
Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. <laughs> Doctor in the back. I could use you. You need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. <laughs> Caden! <laughs> ah! You gotta come back, buddy. And that's an order. That music! <gasps> music! Every time! Is this. That's not his room. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Hear that? Oh, man. I forget how much water is on the Citadel. It is. It's really. You could stay here and, like, not know that there's a war going on, you know? Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? Are you Alliance? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already I like her, by the time her, we found her you. tentacle I'm tattoos. Sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But I I I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. Such is war. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so much sadness everywhere. I need to go shoot some things. I need to go shoot some things. Get me out of here. I just, I have to check every room. I know that, I know that the conversations will change, and sometimes you, every now and then you can pick up things. That looks like the alcohol I had on my ship in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> you guys just keep it alcohol. And she's like, don't jump off a bridge, guy. It's not a good idea. <sighs> Freaking, I love this game. I love this series. I love it. I can't even, I don't know. Where is he? Where is he? I know, I gotta get the letter first, but I'll be danged. So, the nurse tells me you this refuse conversation. to and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry, no. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Bringing this conversation had me hooked. It was just... Uh, and, like, the speculation on the end result is so sad. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment, please. I mean, the end result is sad, but the speculation that goes on, too, is... At least that I've heard that people have mentioned. Man, I should go back and reread the Mass Effect 3 comments. Don't go back and watch that, by the way. Seriously, it's uh, it's not very good. <laughs> I keep it up because it was the first one I did. but And it has had some good points. But... Where's Garrus? I need to go get Garrus! I know exactly where he is. All right, I'll poke Hello, you. Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Uh, bye. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Yeah, bye, Cortana. According to the council, these guys... Human! Come on, give me something. Please tell yes. the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We don't even have it! We, we have haven't even we haven't even have helped. Sadly it was lost in the Shrike Abyss. We haven't we haven't even We haven't even announced it yet. Yes. I know there's one over there too. Dang it! Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But 
We spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my daughter in law. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Just sadness everywhere. Everywhere. Bailey. There is no anti humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jelani. The council is simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Ah, thanks. Thanks, Bailey. Thanks for closing that. Damn press. So yeah, they're kind of the useless. Teeth. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. He has so many adjectives for Those his... people would see it as a move up. For his station. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why do you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. <laughs> don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. No, I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Yeah. Yes, indeed, Bailey. Yes, indeed. We'll come back and chat later. Ooh, man. I don't think I can get into the Spectre place yet, but... Yo! Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. Who are you? If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Are you the gatekeeper? You're the other gatekeeper. Uh, Udina! Our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Oh, shut up. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. Yeah, you better stand up and listen. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? It's good points. I mean, they make good points. Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. 
Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you yeah, really we're already out of time! Stop the Reapers. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with you, Dina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. You! <laughs> I get it! Truth I understand, but still! Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider Adi. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. A summit! A summit! For reals! Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. <laughs> I under I made the same exact points when I was, I was like, why should they follow us to Earth? Like, it's just There's leaving their own... self concerned jackasses, Shepard. So are we! We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Hey! Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. <laughs> Primarch Vidorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. See, all the worlds are under attack. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. I mean, the Solarian homeworld, I think, at this point is fine. And so is the Asari homeworld. But they attacked humans first and Turians because we're the biggest military threats. Humanity is very tenacious, right? And that, like, most sci-fi, that's how it is. You know, the, human, the humans are always the tenacious survival ones, you know? Um, but the, they attacked the Turians almost exactly at the same time because they have the biggest fleet and the most coordinated, like, military populace, you know? So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? Ah! If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? It matters because people are burning and dying currently. The intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is time to go. Team. Gotta go get my. Gotta go get my second in command. Well, there is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. Thanks. And Appreciate it. resources will be made available to you. You already told me that in Mass Good Spec day. 2. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. They didn't even bother... They didn't even bother talking to freaking human fleets at all, apparently. <laughs> the council to save their lives and for what apologies that boil down to maybe later if we don't figure out something maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion I know what I'm gonna do what are you gonna do humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy now we cash in our chips I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Yep. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament in a first name basis. Of course he did. 
I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose garden stuff. But to have it all gone. I mean, yeah, the Arcturus station was was a completely wiped out. Like you, we don't know that right now. But like you go when we we go, we, you could I guess if you go into the codex. I should go to the codex and read some stuff because a lot of stuff has updated. Like you, Mass Effect One and Two didn't really change much, but in Mass Effect Three, it changes a lot of the codex. It changes almost all the planetary um, entries. Like if you're out when you're out exploring, it always it adds like a little like a sentence or something at the bottom. That basically says, oh, by the way, the Reapers have destroyed everything on this planet. You know what I mean? Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. A handful. Like, I know they're expensive to build, but that's it, you know? I mean, uh, maybe they had more, but they just got destroyed. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tabos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending a sorry space like a mother panther. This is the first time I think you Baron see their first names. Depth. The Solarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. See, Udina knows exactly what knows exactly what he's doing. And I have in, in Mass Effect Three, I gained great respect for him. I still have it, even after the events. Like, obviously, this is going to be kind of a spoilery-ish. But even even though what he does later is reprehensible in many ways, if I'd have been given the same choice, like I don't know what I would have done. You know, like I mean, the way he went about it was not good but basically what he was trying to do was save earth he was trying to save everybody basically but he needed the citadel fleets to to try to take back earth and i don't really know how he expected to have them work for him because they're they're manned by like turian salarian asari all everybody you know but and they would probably be like uh, no but and working with Cerberus, he was, I think he really was planning on turning on Cerberus in the end. And he is a fantastic politician, and it almost worked. But he went too far, overstood his bounds, and... I don't know. But I don't hate him for what he did, at, by any means. He was doing what he thought was best for Earth. Not like the elusive man, right? Or the elusive man just wants power, right? To bring humanity to the apex. Blah, blah, blah. That's what he says anyway. That's what he's being manipulated to sort of think. Um, but Udina was legitimately frustrated, upset, just like Shepard, but he had the means to do something that she can't, ha she cannot. She can, she, there's no way that she would have the means with the Normandy and like a 10 man crew to, to try to take over the Citadel. You know, he needed the Cerberus fleet to take over the Citadel fleet to try to take Earth back. He didn't want power, he wanted to save Earth. So, I don't know. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. I... For, that, I mean, that just blew me away. I was like, Udina is like, he's in a way, he's in his element. I should go. I'll be here. Like, I, I I have only respect for him and what he's trying to do. 